Hey, how is it going? So, I real quick today, I just wanted to talk about one uh, little thing about Adobe Audition, and that is how to extract certain frequencies out of a recording without having to use complex third-party plugins, different noise reduction tools, and stuff like that. Audio is so critical to your project. So, if you have interference from a cell phone, specifically from a text and the text tone, I'm gonna show you how to go in and remove that manually by hand or mouse, depending on what country you're from, and show you how to remove that in Adobe Audition. So once we're in Audition here, this isn't a multi-track session, this is just a one-track session typical for the round tripping between Audition and Premiere. Now remember here, this is a waveform, and the waveform is an X, Y axis that shows you amplitudes of the sound over time. So the amplitudes are on the Y axis, and the time is on the X axis. So if we just go in and scrub through here, the cell phone uh, text message sound we got was right around here. Kinda upset, cause this year we even had parents to say, Kind of upset because this year we even had pairs to say. Did you find yourself looking to your own pocket to check your own phone? Because every time I heard this before I realized what was happening, I thought it was my phone. We're going to open a spectral wave display. And what this is going to do is introduce one more element into that graph. So you're still going to have time on the X axis, but instead of having amplitude on the Y axis, you're going to have frequencies. So you have frequencies over time. Now amplitude still is in this chart and the way that's represented is actually by color data. So the brighter the colors, the more vibrant yellows versus the darker purples, that's your uh, amplitude over time. So the louder your sound, the brighter that color is gonna be and the quieter your sound, the more purple, dark that color is gonna be. So if we zoom nice and far in here, here is the in initial text tone is happening right here. If we zoom all the way in. See that pure tone right here around 2000 hertz and then there's an overtone up here around about 6000 hertz. Make sure that your marquee selection tool is selected and enabled. So if we just go in and grab that text tone in between her voice, hit delete. It destroys every single frequency in there. Same thing with this overtone up here. Just grab it and delete it. Now, she starts talking again right here. You can see these heavy amplitudes down in the more audible hearing range. You know, the human voice is all the way across the range here, but just grab where you see that text and just delete it. Just delete the text message sound without destroying a lot of her actual human vocals. I'm kind of upset because this year we even had parents to say, well, I didn't even know this program was here. Just get kind of upset because this year we even had parents to say, well, I didn't even know this just get kind of upset because this year we even had parents to say, well, I didn't even know this program was kind of upset because this year we even had parents to say, well, I didn't even know this. So, short, simple, and sweet for today. Just wanted to introduce that little audio tip to you in case you were unawares. I'll see you on Friday.